Mm. Are you French? <laughs> no, got a bit of trouble. <laughs> no, there'll be people. There. I think I've done a whoopsie in the berry. <laughs> there'll, no. be, there'll be young people there going, what on earth is he doing? What am I doing? Frank Spencer. Yeah, some, some mothers, mothers do, do have But them. that's not what I'm supposed to be French. Yeah, stop making fun. If, I, if I was, if I entered into the spirit, if we moved to France... Yes. Would this be... No, you'd look an absolute fool, wouldn't Would you? I? Yes. You wouldn't find me all Frenchy and sexy. No, as I don't now. Okay. <laughs> but listen, um, this weekend, millions of us are going to pack up our suitcases and take off on holidays. Uh, summer holidays, most kids break up by Friday. But, you know, when you're abroad and you go, oh, I wonder what it would be like to live here. Imagine packing up your life and going to live abroad. Well, that's exactly what Dick Strawbridge and his wife Angel did back in 2015. Um, they've got their show, of course, on Channel 4, which has been following, like renovating. Yeah. Beautiful. This beautiful French chateau. And it was very dilapidated when they took it over. Um, and we are going to go live to them now and say bonjour, Dick and Angel. It's lovely to see you again. Bonjour, ça va? Bonjour, ça va? <laughs> ça va bien, bonjour. merci. Bonjour. Ça va, ça va. How good are you with the How good are you with the lingo, you guys? I mean, I know your, your, your children are quite proficient in it now. How, how have you two been getting on? <laughs> Go on. Oh, well, Dick is definitely better than me. I I know lots of words. I just don't know how to put them together with, without <laughs> with, with, without an accent that's not from like only fools and horses. <laughs> but it's quite interesting when we're talking now. We were talking to one of the teachers a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and Dorothy became our translator. She's five. Yeah. Well, we didn't we didn't live that down for ages. They're both fluent. The kids, I presume now. Well, absolutely. Pretty much, yeah. Look, guys. We had a fifth birthday party for Dorothy, and all her friends came, and they were all French. <laughs> well, look, what, is, go, what is going on? Because um, for anybody who, who doesn't uh, watch the programme Escape to the Chateau on Sundays, 8 o'clock, Channel 4, um, is, is your journey at an end? Now the series ends on Sunday? <laughs> the, the journey's not at an end, Eamon, definitely not. Um, we've, this is a short series of specials, if you like, reviewing what's happened over the last four years. And um, we're still busy. The place is cha it changes all the time, and uh, she's keeping me busy. I'm Aww. knackered. Uh, it's what... just it's a project that will never ever be over. Yeah. <laughs> what, what what was the what was your vision, Angel? What was the dream? Because as I said, the chateau was was quite dilapidated. You know, it all sounds wonderful, but there was so much work. Are you? What was the vision, and are you anywhere near kind of achieving that now? Yeah, well, definitely. We have plugs and running water. <laughs> the vision was to make it a home, and we've definitely achieved that. The, the kids are happy, we're happy, but we also wanted to, you know, have that kind of ideal life balance where we could run a business from it, mm. and and we're doing that. And the wedding side of life, because we run weddings here, and Angela's doing those. And to be fair. Running a home is easy. It's all the extra details that are going right. And this girl is a pain in the bobo <laughs> because she just literally has her vision. There's no compromise. And so not, the place is, it's going from strength to strength, but there's yeah. still a lot of work going into it. But well, you mentioned about going on holidays. This all started because we went on holiday and we decided France would be a nice place to live. We ended up with a chateau. <laughs> and, and is France a nice place to live? It's very special, I think, yeah. Beautiful. I think the big thing is we, we, we are aware when you come on holiday, you see everybody having two, two and a half hour lunches. You see the, people, the fact that people stop work at five and people don't do a lot of extra work. And um, you think that's a lifestyle that we could do. But for us, we've never quite got there yet. No, but our holiday, when you, when you go on holiday, we've all done it, you get in a bubble, you're really relaxing. Um, and although we don't have that same relaxation, um, relaxation <laughs> it's beautiful here. And I think we, we, we did the right thing. Yeah, well, the, the whole area, because we're, we're, we're in the May end, which is, um, and we're the only sort of British people in this area, but it's, I think it's got the highest density of cows in France. How exciting is that? And, you know, things like we've got our cheese from the end of the road, all our... Well, you know, yes, we're and very... ...sparkling red yeah. wine from 50 kilometres mm. away. And our team have, have been trying to recreate what, what you might have on your table there in the chateau. <laughs> Look at all this loveliness. So we've got here... Crustiness. So we've got crusty cheese. We've got goat's cheese, which is from the Loire Valley, which is where you live. Um, and we've got, we've got that from a, a cheesemonger in Borough Market. And then we've got some camembert here from Normandy. But thank you very much for recommending this. Just which is This is uh, Cremont. Cremont de Loire. We got oh, this in Majestic. Done. 
Yes. So <laughs> that's a little helpful. fizz. Yeah. We're on the sparkling yeah. reds here. Yeah, we couldn't get the sparkling red, which you recommended. Mm. We couldn't find that one, but we've got the sparkling white because we just want to cheers to you. Cheers yeah. to France. And, uh, yeah, cheers, cheers to, France cheers to, to you, you because, I mean, I, oh. <laughs> you know, there are times I'm sure you, you, you may have uh, regretted what you, you, you did. Um, but listen, just tell us, Angel, the contrast. People may say, look at those two, they're loaded. But, you know, you'd quite a humble, ordinary existence <laughs> back, back at home, and you got that at a bit of a knockdown, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the house was was a bargain, but it needed so much work to do. And loaded, well, <laughs> you know, we're running a business. Our biggest revenue is our wedding business. And, you know, anyone in hospitality, they get that you really work hard for your money. Yeah. Yeah. And everything we get, we put back into the house. We, we moved out, um, we, were, we, were moved, we were living in London, we moved to South End, and this place... Um, Need to work done on it, but the, this, with all the extra houses we got thrown in for free, was less than a bed sit in Bethnal Green. Yeah. So yeah. just put it into context. Matt. And your dream is <coughs> whenever we talk the to garden. You, <laughs> whenever we talk to you, you look extremely happy and sound extremely happy. It looks absolutely beautiful. I know how much work you put into it. Cheers to you. Uh, the final episode of Escape to the Chateau is Sunday. Are you say that? PM. Will there be a new series? Ah, uh, yeah, we're, 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 we're working on the one that goes up to Christmas, yeah. You know, she's keeping me working. I'm ready to retire, but not yet, she said. Good man, good man. <laughs> Christmas on, at the Chateau, here's to yeah. that. Yes. Thank we're you, guys. Cheers, here, by cheers. The way. cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. 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 Au revoir. Take, Take care. care. Cheers. Lovely seeing you. Au revoir. Nice. Au revoir. I spent my life... Can't take you seriously asking serious questions with that beret on. <laughs> Don't tell me, how does it feel when you're moving abroad? Do you not? like Frank Spencer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Betty. Mm. Uh, tell me this, do you not think I look ethnic? Do you not look, like, culturally no. appropriate? Like, what's ethnic about some plastic onions? Onions? Your neck? Plastic onions. They're not plastic. Wait. They're real onions. No. Anyway. Anyway, it looks very nice. I'm not sure I want to take on a project that large, would you? I'll go, I'll go on holiday, go and visit for a weekend. Yeah, that's good. And this idea. is very nice, the Cremant. Yeah.